NASA looking into selling the naming rights for rockets. You know, we told you about maybe the Budweiser rocket or the FBN rocket. Who knows? Who better to ask about this than the NASA administrator himself, Jim Bridenstine. Welcome back, Jim. Always good to see you. Thank you, Stuart. Great to be here. Are you doing this for the revenue which you would take in, or do you want to try and change the culture of NASA? Mm. Well, first of all, I want to be clear. We haven't made any decisions yet. These are just concepts that we're looking into to determine, you know, do we need to change law? Do we need to change regulation to do these kind of activities? But I want to start, if it's okay, by just saying this. NASA is looking to being a customer of many customers for access to low Earth orbit. And in order to do so, we have already decided that we're not going to purchase, own, and operate our own rockets to get to low Earth orbit or to get to the International Space Station, but instead, we're going to buy access to space as a service from companies like SpaceX or Northrop Grumman or Boeing. And in fact, we have already done this. And so the question becomes, if we are a customer of many customers, why could those providers of that service not sell, okay. the, not okay. sell their rockets mm. as, as billboards? Uh, one, one example. I drove to work this morning on the Metro here in Washington, D.C. The Metro, of course, is a government program. And yet on the Metro, you're, it's covered with advertisements, and it's advertisements for everything right. under the sun. Right. So, and, y y look, it sounds like you're going to convert NASA into a, 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 an almost a private enterprise company. A a absolutely you're not. You're a government entity, but a you're going to act like a private enterprise company. It, in some ways, yes. So again, where there is already a robust commercial marketplace, we want to be one customer of many customers for access to low Earth orbit. That, and that's, there's already a, a robust commercial marketplace there. What that enables us to do is drive down our costs, increase our access, our providers have to compete against each other for, the, for both cost and innovation. And then we can use our taxpayer dollars that NASA receives to do things where, govern, or where, where commercial industry won't go. We want to go back to the moon. And we want to retire risk so that we can go to Mars. And the way to do that is to make sure that we're, we're taking advantage of commercial markets where they exist and then going further where commercial markets don't exist. Jim, there's nothing wrong with that. It sounds like a really innovative idea. Bring it into NASA. Good stuff. Jim, it, I'm out of time. All but right. We appreciate you being with us as usual. Trim Brightenstein. Always. Yes, sir. You Thanks bet. very much.